Crow Salvation Movie Review. Alex Corvus is executed for the crime of killing his girlfriend. 53 stab wounds, because 52 just doesn't quite cut it. However, he's certain that he was framed. He doesn't know exactly who did it. So when he dies, a crow brings him back to life and he begins investigating who did it. This is a slightly different take on the crow idea and it isn't bad. Having the crow come back and have to find out who is really behind it is interesting. In the other two, it was kind of, there was someone all the way behind it all, but he was mostly focused on the people who directly did it. And in this he does start out focusing on those, but it is part of finding the one out man. No, wait, the guy with the scars, that's right. The movie is okay overall. The acting is reasonable. Maybe is if that's how I pronounce it, makes a pretty good crow. I wouldn't have thought before watching this that he could pull off that intensity and being ominous like that, but he does pretty well. Dunst, she doesn't have a lot to work with. She does okay with what she does have. It feels like her character was underdeveloped. It Maybe they wanted to do something with how she, like, gave up on wanting to live, or, you know, it really crushed her. She's playing the sister of the dead girl, and they just didn't quite go through with it, so we're left with a very important character that's just kind of underdeveloped. In general, the film's biggest problem is being underdeveloped. The bad guys aren't bad. They they just aren't that memorable either. Fred Ward does have a lot of fun with the role and he's enjoyable to watch. The makeup is great and this time we get a bit of a different idea for it, which is nice because they can't just keep painting the face. This time, it's because when Alex was executed, it was by the chair, and his face got burned, so when he comes back to life in the jail morgue, he pulls some of this skin off his face, and it leaves him with the crow look. He also doesn't wear black. Uh, so much. He mostly just wears the, you know, prison garb that he was executed in. There's some pretty good action, and visually the film isn't bad. It really doesn't have any just astonishing visuals like the first did, but it does have some nice images. The style is pretty good, and you know, it works for this kind of film. The, the only really big problem is, like I said, the underdevelopment of certain things. But yeah, overall, if you really badly want another Crow movie after watching the first one, this one is reasonable enough.